Today, I will show you how I use Klinge AI Start and End Frame feature to create this movie trailer. My name is Dave, Special Anti-Crime Unit. My job is simple. Cut the head of the snake. Every damn drug choking this city. But the streets, they've got their own kings. First, there's Kefa, built by Hosu. He runs his corner. Kiosk in the front, poison in the back. His eyes, Bako. The kid who sees it all before it happens. He whistles. Skefa moves. Their kingdom? Ikoko. A warehouse that sweats secrets. Packages dreams that rot the soul. And when it's time to deliver? Blaze. They call him on time, every time. Because if you see that bike, it's already too late. But here's the thing, snakes think they own the jungle. They forget hunters don't sleep. This tutorial is just five steps. And because I'm nice, I will share three bonus tips at the end. So stick around, you don't want to miss those tips. Everything starts with a story. For me, I went full Nollywood meets Hollywood. A police detective chasing down drug lords and the whole thing stitched together into one seamless shot, just like Steven Spielberg would do it. Now for you, don't overthink it. Pick something simple. Wait, pause. Scratch that. That's terrible advice. Simple won't bring the best out of you, so push yourself. Go hard. Go harder. Make a toothpaste ad that feels like that movie Inception. Or better still, you write a short film or make your cat video feel like Fast and Furious 12. The bolder your idea, the more you learn and the better you become. And if writing is not your strength, don't worry. Pull out ChatGPT. Think of it as your unpaid writer who never complains and works 24 7. So polish your idea up with ChatGPT until it feels good. Now let's move on to the next thing. Now that you have your story, you will need to break each scene into a start and the last frame. Your first frame is where you want the scene to start from, and the last frame is where you want the scene to end. For example, in my trailer, in the opening scene, the first frame was Dave sitting on the bed, and the last frame was him standing on the balcony. So, break all your scenes into a start and a last frame. Now that you've broken the scenes into a start and end frame, what next? Oh wait, silly me. The motion graphics literally says, step three, generate your images. So yeah, that question was pointless. The real question is, which AI platform should I use to generate my images? So here's the deal. If you've got money to blow and credits to burn, go flex with Kling AI, Runway, Leonardo AI, Halo AI, or any AI platform that is thirsty for your money. If you're feeling extra daring and your wallet is heavy, then enter the arena with Google VO3 and spend that cash like it's Friday night at a club. But if you've got that Ijebu blood, for my non-Nigerian viewers, Ijebu is a Yoruba subgroup known for being let's just say financially cautious and you are hunting for a free AI platform to generate images. Don't worry, I have got you covered. So come close, closer. Now listen carefully. I've linked a video right here that shows you how to generate images for free. Yep, you're welcome. Well, as for me, I use Mid Journey to generate my images. Why? Because I am a sucker for those rich cinematic vibes. Quick note, if you want me to do a full Mid Journey tutorial, including how to create consistent characters, just drop a comment below. Let's move on. Open up your browser and type in Kling AI. You'll see the video tab on the left-hand side. Click on it and you'll see the start and end frame option. From the top, ensure you are on the 2.1 model. The 1.6 model also has this same picture, but the 2.1 will give you better results. 
upload your stats and end frame images into the appropriate box. Then impute your guiding prompt in this box. Your guiding prompt tells the AI exactly how the scene should unfold. For example, in my first scene, the character walks from the bedroom to the balcony. But I specified in the prompt that I want the camera to follow the character from behind. Being specific with your prompt is very crucial. Without such direction, the AI will generate the video based on its own creativity. For me, this was my prompt. A cinematic sequence of Deji in his bedroom are done. The shot begins with a close-up of his face, deep in thoughts, sitting on the bed. Slowly, he stands up and walks towards the balcony. Now, this is how I guide the camera. The camera smoothly orbits from the front to his side, then follows him from behind as he approaches and stops at the balcony, gazing outward. So, go ahead and impute your own prompt. Once you are done with the prompt, you can select either the professional mode or the standard mode. So after that, choose the duration of your video. You have two options, either the 5 seconds or the 10 seconds. But for a start and end frame feature, I would advise you leave it as 10 seconds. Once you are done, hit generate. Once you hit generate, it will create the video for you and you see it at this top right hand corner. So if you're okay with it, just download and save it to your computer. But also note, if the result is not what you want or if you are not okay with the camera movement or with anything in the scene, you can go ahead and generate another one and it will give you a different version. But bear in mind, it will cost you extra credits. Here is the key to making the scenes flow seamlessly. Remember I said I wanted this to be one seamless shot. In order to create the second scene, I downloaded the first video and I took a screenshot of the last frame. So the last frame is the standing on the balcony looking outward. This then becomes the starting frame for my next thing, creating that seamless transition. Then I set Skefa's image as the ending frame. I imputed my prompt and hit generate. Now we have two scenes. So what you need to do is to repeat this same process till you have your complete story. Once I was done generating all the scenes, I downloaded them and stitched everything together using DaVinci Resolve. But you can use CapCut for any editor you are comfortable with. The important thing is just lining up your scenes so the story flows smoothly. Your story needs music for it to come alive and your choice of music will determine the mood of the scene. For me, the best tool for this is Suno AI. Suno AI lets you generate cinematic soundtracks and background music for free. Here's what you can do. Head over to their site, sign up, and you will get 500 free credit to start experimenting. If you would like a deeper dive into how I use Kling AI and Suno AI step by step, I already covered that in another tutorial. I will leave the link in the description. And if you want to try either Kling AI or Suno AI for yourself, I have dropped my referral links in the description. My Kling AI referral link gives you an extra 50% credit when you subscribe. Now, for the three tips I promise. If you want that cinematic camera movement through the city, ensure you use the phrase camera fly through the city in your prompts. If you don't use that exact word, the result may be good, but not so dynamic. Voiceovers are essential. They breathe life into your story. But what happens when you don't have the budget for a professional voiceover actor? Simple. Pick up your phone and call on Uncle Google. Here's why I love Google Text to Speech. One, the quality is fantastic. And two, which is very important, say with me, it's free. Remember that word I taught you earlier? Ijebu. Yeah. Holding tight to your money. Owo, Kudi, Ego, or Benjamins. This is where it comes in handy. Why pay for voiceovers when Google gives you 30 decent ones for free? Open up your browser and type in Google AI Studio. Click on the native speech generation. Choose either single speaker or multi-speaker. Now we'll come back to this voice section. On the left-hand side, you'll see the style instruction. In the style instruction box, describe the vibe you want for the voiceover. For instance, you can specify fast, slow, dramatic, or child-friendly. Once you are done with the description, 
paste your script into the text box and come over here to pick a voice. From the voice samples, Google's text-to-speech gives you 30 voice samples to choose from. Yes, I took the time to count it. It's 30. 30 good voiceovers. You can click the play icon beside each name to preview the voice texture and asset. Once you are okay with anyone, just select that, and that will be the one that Google will use for your voiceover. For me, I wanted a Nigerian accent, and if you check these 30 voice samples, none of them has the Nigerian accent. So what do you do if you need a specific accent to tell your story? This is where the third tip comes in, and you'll thank me for this later. So first, what I did was pick a male voice from the sample. Then in the style instruction box, I typed in exactly how I wanted it to sound. Husky Nigerian male voice, calm, cinematic, dramatic pacing, deep tone. This way, even if the bass sample is imperfect, the AI will shape it closer to the style you imputed. When you are done setting everything up, just hit run down here. Once the process is complete, your audio file will appear on the left-hand side. Simply right-click on it and choose Save As to download it. This is how I was able to create a cinematic trailer with nothing but AI tool. Is it perfect? I'll let you decide that for yourself. But note that these tools are improving fast and the possibilities are endless. If this tutorial helped you, do me a favor, like, share, subscribe, and also drop a comment. Why? Because apparently the YouTube algorithm has trust issues. Your comment adds the human touch it needs and makes it push the video to more creators like you. Thank you in anticipation. Now, before I wrap up, a big thank you to everyone. We just hit 600 subscribers. Thank you so much for watching. I am grateful we are building this community together. My name is Osa Craft. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.